Hello guys, welcome back to Tech and Techie. After so long times, I'm here with you guys to show you how to install VirtualBox and VMs on it with manual and automatically process. Uh, let me go with manual setup first. Uh, let me download VirtualBox and then we'll install it. Go on the virtual box site to download the latest version as on here and uh, click on Windows Host as I'm going to install it on my Windows operating system. Once it is downloaded, go to the download folder and click on it to run the setup. Welcome to the Oracle Virtual Box Setup Wizard. Click on Next to accept the user license agreement. Go to the Next. If you would like, can change the location path. Click on Next to Next to continue the setup. It will take little bit more time to complete the setup. So till then, I am going to fast forwarding this video. Once done. Start the Oracle Virtual Box to set up new virtual machines. Click on New options here to add new virtual machines. Give the name what you would like to. I am naming here CentOS as I will be going to install CentOS virtual machine. Choose the path where you like to create virtual box virtual machines. Here I am going to create a new folder in other drive like here. We will select D drive with the name virtual box VMs. Alright. Now go to the hardware options to check with the base memory and processors. Change whatever you would like to as per your host system configuration. I will go with as it is for memory but uh, will change your processor from 1 to 2. In hard days, uh, leave this as it is a default, for now no need to change. Click on finish to proceed the setup. Ok, alright. Now follow the same settings for next virtual machines here. I am going to create a new virtual machine with the name Ubuntu virtual machine. And will do the same settings as in CentOS we have done. Now we need to download the CentOS image. So just have to visit the site to download the CentOS 9 from the CentOS Stream Mirror site. As like here. Ok. Once it is downloaded, then we'll go to our virtual box to do some settings like in storage. Uh, we just need to select the controller IDE to select the image path. Here in optical drive sections, go to choose a virtual optical disk file then go to the downloads folder and select the image with all other options then in network option in adapter 1 the net is by default settings which need to be remain as it is but in second adapter we need to choose the bridge adapter a bridge adapter connects the virtual machine's network adapter directly to the physical network of the host machine. Here in my laptop, I will show you the network adapter. As you can see, the network LAN is disabled here because I am in a Wi-Fi network. See the name of Wi-Fi network as this you need to select the same name in VirtualBox network adapter for bridge. Once done with all the settings, then can start the virtual machines. Select the first option and hit the enter to proceed. Now in this window, here we can select the language. So uh, go for as once. On next step, need to select the installation destination for automatic partitioning by selecting local standard disk. Then in network and host name, 
Just cross check all are ok here, enabled and connected. Then go for user settings to create your own password and user creation and set this user as an administrator. Make sure that the password must match with the confirm password. Now let's begin the installation. Once installation done, a reboot the system and make sure to remove the disk image path before powering on the virtual machines. Let's start now and wait till the CentOS virtual machine gets start up. Ok guys and here we are in CentOS virtual machines. Wow guys. Enter the credential to get access into CentOS. Run the terminal and check the host name and yeah it's ok. Now enter IP address right. Check the IP address. Ok here is the IP address. Good. Now with the help of this IP address we will do some you know SSH to the CentOS by entering IP address let's enter the password now we just need to cross check that all are good all files are there good good to say okay guys as we don't require this VM so we'll go to shut down this okay so just need to ACP shut down and it will power off and yes don't forget to click on bell icon to get the latest video notification and if you like please subscribe to this channel would be appreciated thank you okay guys see you on my next video how to install ubuntu virtual machines by manual setup till then have a great day and bye bye